Hello and welcome to MuleSoft 4 learning videos. In this video, we are going to see uh, how to create a simple project that's API based. Uh, normally, we create a project uh, by simply creating a, a flow and then introducing HTTP listener and then running the project. Uh, but uh, creating this API based project has uh, a lot of advantages, which we are going to see later. So to create the API based uh, uh, project, we need a RAML file. So RAML file has a set of specifications based on which you can create a RAML file. So it basically contains the details about the security options and the resource path. So uh, we introduce a resource path called a demo uh, with uh, uh, two methods. One is post, another one is get. get. So let's see how to create the project uh, based on this RAML. We will see further details later. First, let's create a project. So when you create a new project, it's going to ask for the project name and under which you can choose the Mule runtime. And then you can importantly note uh, there is an API implementation option where you can choose and then select the RAML file. So by uh, selecting the RAML file, it, it's ready to create a new project based on this uh, API specification. Uh, however, I'm not going to create, which I have already created uh, for the demo purpose. So this is how it's created. And uh, uh, I haven't done anything and uh, automatically uh, the API is started. But uh, let's take a look at what stuffs are created automatically uh, in this project. You can see one HTTP listener automatically created and there is an API kit router introduced and you have a bunch of error handling stuff based on the RAML spec and you can see uh, there is an API console uh, created and connected with the API kit console and let's see what is this later on and uh, also the more important aspect is uh, that there are two mule flows which are automatically created one for each method so uh, demo is the resource path let's take a look at the RAML so demo is the uh, resource path and this is created and we have two methods one is post another one is get there are two flows created here so um, I started it up and then let's see how to invoke this so this is a SOAP UI where I have uh, uh, filled in the endpoint details with this uh, uh, resource path and I'm invoking it. So it's done and uh, the log is uh, uh, appearing properly. Uh, 